Okay, we want to look at the, the next uh, part of the question, which is, well, it's a command. Write down the eutectic reaction. In this system, let's see if we take a look at that, the eutectic reaction, what we know is that it is the liquid converting to these two different solids, this solid and that solid. So the re eutectic reaction in this system would be liquid going to alpha plus beta. Then what? When the eutectic reaction forms, when the eutectic forms, excuse me, that means this, this is essentially the eutectic structure. When that forms, what phases are present? So we know alpha and beta are the phases. What are their chemical compositions of these different phases? And then what is the fraction of each that comes from the eutectic reaction? Well, the tie line that we would need to draw here then is now starting here, going all the way here with the fulcrum right here. So let, let us kind of indicate that on the diagram. Starting here, going all the way to there, and putting our fulcrum at the eutectic composition. And I'm going to, let's see, there we go. So there's our uh, lever, and we would take the values off of this lever from the x-axis, of course, and this is our 82 weight percent uh, lead, and this one is, we'll call this, oops, we'll call this 5 weight percent lead, so that the fraction of, let's say, fraction of alpha will be the fraction of alpha. Now remember, use the opposite part of the lever. So this part over here, this part divided by the whole length. So those values are 82 minus 38. 38 divided by 82 minus 5, and that is equal to, let's see, 8 minus 38, 6, no, 4, no, yeah, 4, 44 on the top, and on the bottom, 70, Seven, seven, seventy-seven. So what is 44 over 77? It's about the same thing as 4 over 7. It's not super helpful, but we know it is more than a half, a little more than a half. I'm going to call that 0.6. I'm approximating. I'm not going to take time to use the calculator. I'm going to call 4 sevenths 0.6. Fraction of alpha, 0.6. Fraction of beta, therefore, is 0.4. And um, that's what we were looking to find. So what we know is that when liquid converts into alpha and beta, it forms 60% alpha, 40% beta. Sixty percent alpha, 40% beta, and we know that the alpha has a composition, chemical composition given by that point there, red off this axis, and beta has a chemical composition given by that point, red directly off this axis.